All right. Hey, me, you're home? Welcome home. That's right, I'm welcome here. Yeah? Listen, Vivian's gonna undo this spell. Oh, she already figured it out? Don't worry about that. Let's just go. As Thuwe puts on his shoes, the other feels a bit melancholic. Well, more melancholic than usual. What's up? Huh? You have that stupid look on your face again. Up yours. I can't help your face look stupid no matter what. Something I mind. It's just... The house is gonna get quiet again, that's all. Quiet? Did you not hear the party downstairs last night? The house is in our apartment, my room. Oh. You mean after we merge back? Yes. I'm just happy you won't be hogging all the blankets anymore. God damn it, I'm trying to express something here, but all you care about is just yourself. <laughs> you think's too much. Come on, let's get going. <sighs> well, even before entering the store, Thuy can hear Tal and Vivian laughing. It's like they're best friends now. Thuy doesn't understand. Yeah, they were like acting... I don't know, uh, Vivian was acting pretty cold towards Tal before. Now, I mean, I guess because Tal helped us, right? And everything. But before, you know, they seem to have a uh, weird hostility. I don't know. Oh, hey, the whole thing is here now. Hello, hello. I heard I was going to get merged. Right. This spell seems simple enough. Or at least simpler than a double time one. <laughs> oh, you remember that one time with a drunkard? Oh my god, I don't even remind me. Oh, okay, they're, they're best friends suddenly again. Apparently something hilarious has happened, but Thuy would not know. Well, maybe you can fill me in on that one after I merge back. Oh, right, sorry. Which body do you want to keep? Which body do I what now? You have two bodies now. Once I merge your soul, which body do you want to house it in? Oh, let me think about it. What do you think? I think we should go with yours. I mean, I've been stabbed and poisoned. So yours is probably in better shape. Hello? Huh? Yeah, sure. What's wrong? Actually, don't bother telling me. I'll know all about it in a minute. I wonder what it's gonna be like, having two accounts of the same events. Like when I try to kill you? <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. Hey, me. Yeah? Maybe we could stay like this. Say that again? I'm just... I mean, it's not that bad like this. How is having our life force split not that bad? It's not like we're doing anything particularly important with our life anyway. A short life is fine too. But wouldn't you rather have a longer one? Not if it's lonely. What the hell is this conversation right now? Why are we having this? Let's not merge. Let's not merge. I want to be friends. For fuck's sake. Okay, we have a decision. Um, Interesting. Uh, let's... I mean... Um, I mean, the, the normal option is to merge. I guess I'll, um, I guess I'll choose merge. I'll be your friend, okay? But we'll do that as a single person. How the hell would that work? Easy. All you want to do is play video games anyway. We could do that as a single person, no problem. It's not the same. I can't talk to you. There's no feedback, like no one's there to react to me. So it's lonely. Well, once we're one, I can make us some friends. <sighs> Think about it this way. Right now, we're very similar, so of course we'll get along and whatnot. I don't think we've gotten along particularly well. Whatever, give it a few years and we'll become different people for sure. We might even become so different, I want nothing to do with you. And then we'll never hang out again. Now yes, <laughs> you know, manipulate your own insecurities to make yourself merge. But if we merge now, you'll never be alone no matter how much I hate you. <laughs> wow. Pretty convincing, huh? Yeah, I guess. Alright, let's get this over with. Okay, we decide. We'll keep the other me's body. Wait, we decide that? Yeah, we should listen. Okay, we can start whenever you're ready. We're ready. We are? Yes. Alright, I'll do my best. Louis gets a bad feeling the second his body is back to floating in midair. Even though he gets a soul-sucking kiss from Vivian, he's just not happy about it. Oh yeah, <laughs> isn't that what happened with the other guy? When the soul got split. Something isn't right. Hey, anybody there? Ah, he moves. Good evening. 
you weren't out nearly as long as last time. This... You gave me the wrong body. I'm sorry. I tried putting your soul in the other one, but you wouldn't wake up. Or have a heartbeat. I was scared you weren't going to wake up at all. It's okay. What's not okay? <laughs> oh, oh, what? Oh, they have a split personality now? Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Yes, I did. Uh oh, Vivian, I think you messed it up. Why is it so noisy? And why is there an echo? Shut up! Oh shit. What? What happened? I don't think the souls merged even though I stitched them together. It looks fine to me though. How many theories are in there? One. One. Or two? I knew we shouldn't have trusted Vivian to do this. Well, I knew we shouldn't have merged at all. That's funny. I could have sworn you were the one who wanted to merge the second we split. No, it's different now. Okay, what should we do? Crap, crap, crap. And what do you want to do about the corpse? Crap, 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 crap. I'm gonna put it in the freezer for right now. <laughs> Is there space in there? Tao starts dragging one of the used bodies toward the kitchen. Well, if you can call it the kitchen. It's more like a break room that happens to have a sink and fridge freezer combo. However, the freezer is far too small to fit a whole body. Well, first you cut it up. <laughs> That's exactly, yeah. Should I like hack this up or? No, hands off, I want that one. Move my soul to that one. Dude, this thing's been dead for like an hour. It ain't worked before, it definitely wouldn't work now. Hey Vivid, you got a butcher knife in here or something? Whoa, 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 you really gonna do this in front of me? I think maybe we should like bury it like a pro proper corpse. You know, respectfully. And that's wasteful. We could turn this into ingredients. Ingredients for fucking what? Well, for example... It's at that moment that Lua barges in the shop. Oh boy. He does not look happy, to put it mildly. Where is my spell book, you petty thief? Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> Tao, are you here? Hello, I'm here. I know you took it. Where is it? The book? Right here, don't worry. Tao hands over the book. <sighs> no need to get so angry. I was only borrowing it. Why did you bring it here of all places? Well, what's wrong with Vivian? Crap, 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 crap. Still saying crap, crap, crap over and over again. <laughs> Does she need to use the bathroom or something? <laughs> nah, we tried to undo your spell. But it didn't work. <laughs> or, I mean it did, but not as we wanted. What happened? Go take a look in the back. Lua t goes take a takes a look in the back as instructed. And there he sees Tui observing his dead body with half a leg cut off. <laughs> you already started cutting it? There's blood everywhere. Lua, thank fuck. Look what they did to me. Go away, this is all your, your fault. If you had to split me in the first place. <laughs> what a disaster. <laughs> My god. Are you both in there separately? Yes, we're both in here. Can you fix me? <laughs> Why would I? You haven't even properly paid me for my last spell. Sorry, friend, you're on your own. You can't just not do that. I mean, um... Once more? You can't just leave me like this. You have to admit this is at least partly your fault. Yeah, what he said. Not in the least. Everything would have been swell had you done everything as I advised from the beginning. That is following through and killing your negative feelings. But no, here we are. Saddle of yourself, poor thing. It's not my problem. Bid you farewell. No, wait. Lua leaves through you with the bloody mess. And uh, relax, Vivian. It's not that bad. Vivian, I could take the corpse off your hands before it starts rotting. Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> Tell, go chop the thing up. We're taking it. Already on it. She goes back to cutting the body up, much to Thuey's horror. A bunch of different variations of what is wrong with you can be heard. Oh my goodness, Vivian. You really screwed this one up. <laughs> Wait. Oh, don't cry. I screwed up. Yep, I believe I just said that. I'm such a fuck up. I knew I wasn't ready to lift a spell yet. I, I knew. Well, you did it anyway, so. Vivian wasn't crying already. She sure is now. Um, okay, look. It's not that bad, okay? I mean, you messed up the mending a bit, that's all. Besides, that guy's all screwed up anyway, he's gonna notice. Me. Because unlike you, I have a conscience. Okay then, have fun with that. <laughs> have fun with your ethics. Disgusting. I'm gonna get my body bag ready, I'll see you in a bit. Wait. Waiting. Can you... Would you fix it? I don't know, Vivian. You haven't been exactly nice to me lately. 
So I don't know if I have it in me to bail you out this time, love. This time? What's that supposed to mean? I made Lacey disappear, didn't I? Or did you not notice? Nobody came asking anything. Almost like, oh, almost like I made everyone forget about her. I didn't forget her. Now that I can fix if you like. <sighs> no. And I think you did that for your own sake. My sake, your sake. Do you really want to argue about this again? No. I just... That's going too far. What? The head? Yes, why would you do that? I can't believe I thought you were nice before. You're a bloody nightmare. I told you to stop looking. I'm not cutting it for fun. Cheeks have a lot of meat. And the eyes can be used to cure someone else's sight. So it's all for a good cause. It's just... You should have asked me. And I would have said no. Don't be selfish. Stop arguing. You're making a scene. What if the neighbors or someone comes to check? I'll tell that to Thiwe. Thiwe. I, I still can't say his name correct. I don't know what the name, where the name comes from, so I don't know how to pronounce it. Just hurry up and finish. I can't believe you people. Well, quit your yapping. Consider your useless corpse as payment for my services. What am I paying for now? A fix, I suppose. And with that, Thiwe is in midair once more. So far, every time this has happened, things have gone from bad to worse. So you see, he's isn't very confident he wants to let this happen again. Before he could scream for help, his soul is pulled out of his body once more. Lua undoes Vian's mistakes and fixes Thuy's soul right up. Thuy's poor soul has been through so many hacks and slashes at this point he can barely withstand it. So many Devil May Cry sequels. So this would be the last time anyone ever tampers with it. Which luckily for Thuy, it is. Tal and Lua finishes things up, while Vivian cleans up after them. The trio works so efficiently, you'll have to wonder if they've done this before. Probably they did. Probably they did. <laughs> yes, the answer is yes, they have. But that's neither here or there. You can send him home as soon as he wakes up. And somehow make him shut up about all of it, okay? That's a lot to ask. He seems a bit loose-lipped. Ah, uh, you'll figure something out. Good night, Vivian. You should come over sometime. I might. Alright, I'll pick us some gingerbread cookies. That sounds good. Hey, <laughs> good night. Lua. What is it? I'm kind of carrying something light sensitive and I will let you get home quickly. Thank you. For a lot of things. Though I'm still mad. <laughs> yes, well, aren't you always mad about something or another? That was gonna be really mad too if you don't show up after she makes those cookies. Then I guess I have to. If you do, I can show you how far I got with our potion. And guess what? No one even died this time. You say that while carrying a corpse. Let's not talk so loud in public. <laughs> I look forward to seeing it. Until then. Good night. Hurry up, Lua, you roughly sack of shit. Someone's getting her ass kicked tonight. <laughs> Lua and Tao go home. Okay. I guess they're getting along, sort of. Lua is still, I still feel like Lua is just a freaking psychopath. But, you know, I guess they're getting along. Despite that. Several hours later, Thuy is recovering consciousness. Am I dead yet? No, not yet. Do you want to be? Not really, just felt like I might be. Or not. We're still using we? I don't know, are we? It's just me now. I want to keep saying we, though. Okay, but not in front of anyone. Yeah, or they'll send us back to therapy. <laughs> it's like crazy now. I don't know, maybe we need it. <laughs> you seem in a good mood. Or insane. <laughs> One or the other. At this point, I don't even know myself. Where's Lua and a psychopath of a sister? I guess it runs in the family, you know, psychopaths. They went home. You can go home too if you feel okay. I, I guess. Before you go though, I'd like to ask you something. Yeah, go for it. Do you have a job? Uh, it's just that if you like, I could hire you. I don't... I'm not exactly reliable. That's fine. You could pop in whenever. And I'll pay you for whatever hours you work. That's very convenient. I wish I could do that. Why though? Because I need you to sign a non-disclosure agreement. <laughs> yeah, okay, that makes sense, I guess. It also let me keep track of you in case I did any damage. Okay then, I'll work for you. Though I'm expecting the mushroom tea to be complimentary. Sure, have as much as you like. And honestly, I think I'll be absent quite a bit. Like I said, that's fine. Sounds good then. Glad to hear it. Okay, we're, we're kind of like 
bipolar, I don't know, <laughs> sort of. And that's how that went. After being put back together again, Theory's life calmed down a bit. He started working in Vivian's shop, which despite Lua's opinion is doing quite okay. This is a great opportunity for Theory to hone his abysmal social skills in like magic retail, I guess. To earn some money, working experience and all that, but honestly he just feels happy to be part of the outside world again, after running away this hole of a home for a decade. Overall, Theory is hopeful for the future, maybe things will be okay? And on days he feels lonely and devastated, Theory starts talking to himself. The neighbors think he's a creepy weirdo, but at least Theory understands Theory. <laughs> I merge it, I, was, I was just noticed that's uh, freaking tall right there. Who's that? What is that? Who's that? Is that Vivian? I can't tell. Why is this a picture of Vivian here eating ice cream? Isn't that weird? Pills, toothbrush, I guess the razor, don't worry about that. Mushroom tea, delicious. Okay. So we got the merge ending, interesting. I guess, I assume that's it. Yeah, a little CG here. Good. And sometimes we just talk to ourselves like a crazy person. I mean, I talk to myself right now. So is it, is it all that crazy? I don't know, anyway. Uh, so there you go. So that's one ending, interesting, interesting, okay. There are apparently two other endings to this game, however, and there's like a bad end, I think. I don't, I don't know how to get the bad ending, ironically, because even though it's supposed to be the bad ending, maybe if I pick the wrong choices very early on, I imagine that's usually the case, right? Hmm. Let's see, actually. Let's, let's, let's try to get other endings. All right. Well, let's see here. We got the, the merge ending first. How about we just choose don't merge? I wonder what happens then. Oop. <sighs> Feels like a bunch of effort was wasted just now. Huh? Like we've been running around this whole time trying to merge, and now you throw this curveball? Yeah, I changed my mind, what about it? So now what? You wanna just load it around for the rest of our short lives? What? Since we're not merging. We're not? Apparently not. Really? Yeah, I can't believe it either. Yes! Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're happy. You should be happy too. You're the one. You're the happy one after all. Well, honestly, I think I'm kind of lukewarm now. Like not particularly happy or sad. Huh, I think I'm like that too. Maybe it's like that, like that science thing. I'm gonna need more details to understand what you're on about. A homeostasis. Our soul is balancing out and becoming stable. <laughs> you're so full of shit. <laughs> I'm being smart. So smart right now. Super smart. No, dumbass. I bet that's not even the right word you're using. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Homeostasis? homeostasis? Like, you know, you're as dumb as me. Yeah, if anything, we're twice as dumb now. Well, let's tell Vivian just how dumb we are. Hey, Vivian. Vivian and Tao stop telling inside jokes. Okay, which body is it? Both. I just told you. Oh, that's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine like this. That's to say, thank you for all your efforts, but we're going to stay like this. Are you sure? You're gonna die in your 40s. That's fine, I'm too dumb to think that far. And you're both fine with that. Yeah, it's all fine. Vivian looks at Tao, Tao just shrugs. Well, okay. But just make sure you understand, I'm not gonna keep this offer open. I'm not merging you back later if you refuse to do it now. And that's fine, I... Even reads in Lua's notes, that's gonna get harder and harder to merge back as your soul adapts to being split. It's fine. Yeah, what I said. Or he said. What we said. Now you're just being confusing on purpose. Haha. <laughs> well, if you're sure. I should return to his book before he realizes it's gone. Right. Thanks for bringing it anyway. No problem. I'll bring my bouncy ball collection next time. I see you tend to come again. That's right. So buy some fresh marshmallows. Those old ones are kind of gross. Who would have thought? It's not like I told you or so or anything. Why you? I was being polite, okay? I'm nice like that. Louis figures this conversation has nothing to do with either of him, so he leaves with a short bye-bye that goes barely noticed. Here we go again. It's not quiet at all. Yeah. So what do you want to do about Jerkface? He was hassling me for a payment. But I already paid? He said I need to pay too. Yeah, that's not happening. He could consider us not suing his ass a payment. Like we have the money to sue anyway. We should get a job or something. What, to sue him? No, no, to have a life for ourselves. Since there's two of us now, and I like to move somewhere where we have a little more space. I mean, we need another bed. Maybe an actual kitchen table, rather than whatever that Ikea thing sticking out the wall is. And a parakeet. You want a parakeet? Yeah. 
You could get a parakeet once you put it and you could take care of yourself first. What the hell? Who put you in charge? Me? I'm the main three after all? Says who? I never agreed to that. Too bad. You want me around, so here I am. Oh god, I made a mistake. <laughs> That's nothing new. Whether it was a mistake or not, this was Louis's new life. Stuck with himself and possibly a parakeet. Together they had an okay-ish, albeit a bit short life. Half-assing everything the whole way through. Halved end. Okay. Okay, halved end. I don't know if it's a good end necessarily. But I guess we just continue to hang out, you know, basically. It's like, yep, we're good. Just hang out forever, okay. So that's another ending. Hmm. Okay. Alright, makes me wonder if this- wait, there's, maybe there's one more. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Let me- let me try to find another one as well. Hmm, try to think, like, what kind of choices do I need to make? Okay. What about- okay, what about this decision? Okay, so maybe- Because I made the other decisions before, and they end up kind of the same anyway. This might be a pivotal, pivotal decision. Like, instead of staying after we argue with Vivian and everything about how like, how the spell works, I think, or whatever. We choose to go home this time, maybe? When uh, the sad theory, I guess, starts to get uh, homesick, I guess? So maybe that. Let's save it here. So, alright. Let's try me going home this time. I don't want to fix anything. Alright. You're leaving. Yep, thanks for the advice. I'll pick it all out happily next time. Next time? Wait, what kind of magic is making you sick? Don't worry about it. If someone put a curse on you, I can... Uh, thanks, bye-bye. Okay, so this time, the timeline's a little bit different, I feel like. This time, we go, we don't get any, like, mushroom tea, you know? We don't let, learn more about the curse, I guess, maybe? I don't know. Or at least Vivian herself doesn't learn more about what happened to them. So maybe this time, it changes things? I guess we'll see. Louise leave, uh, the... Louise, yeah, the Louise leave Vivian to be all confused by herself. Really cool. <laughs> What was that? I don't know. I'm so embarrassed. Oh yeah, that was rude as hell. Sorry. It's not me you should apologize to. Ah! Uh, well, whatever, it didn't sound like she could help me anyway. Or that she thought were cool. Ah! Oh my god, I'm so mortified. What was I thinking? I must cease my existence for I cannot ever recover from this humiliation. Yeah, yeah, that's nice, honey. Where are you going? He goes to sit in the bed, he pulls a blanket over himself. Come, we must hide from the world now. Huh? Hurry before you die from shame. What? Other three comes on the blanket as well. We may heavily leave from under here again. God damn it, I wish we had at least some soda then. Okay, hold up. Louis goes to grab a bottle from the fridge. Alright, now we're ready. Excellent, I guess. Now in the safety of our cocoon. What happened? I don't know. It was so awkward. But the moment I opened my stupid mouth, it was over. And I stand there like an idiot while you chat. Like, ho oh, hum, sure wish I had something to say. But no, I'm too busy pulling my foot out of my mouth. And with each passing moment, the hot red shame rants up until the whole place is on fire. I don't know, I can, actually I can relate to a little bit. Um, I don't get like super embarrassed or anything, but usually, yeah, when someone's like talking to someone else, it's like usually when there's like more than like three people or whatever in a conversation. I can't keep up. I don't know. I'm really bad at that. It's like when people are just bouncing back and forth and everything, I, I can't really keep up in that, that kind of conversation. If it's one-to-one, -one, I'm a little, you know, I think I've, I'm a bit better with that, but then, I don't know, man. I don't like it when there's like too many people talking at once. I'm just not very good at that. I don't know. I'm just really bad at that. People talk too fast. You gotta slow down, man. You gotta, you gotta slow down. Just chill. Anyway, damn, can't get any less cool than that. Ah, shut up. I will never want to hear the word cool again. <laughs> and now I'm here in the cocoon from which I may never emerge from. But you got soda. Right. Since I just took it from the fridge, the soda is... Cool. <laughs> Stop saying... Stop making cool puns. Have mercy, I'm dying inside. Ha <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, I am. Nothing new under the sun. Or the blanket. Yes, Vivian will never be under our blanket. Oh, screw you, Vivian. I'm too cool for you. Ah. Cool as a cucumber. I'm all of the cucumbers. Coolness combined. King of the cucumbers, am I? Yeah, my cucumber is the biggest in the universe. And the coolest. Yeah. Ah. Okay. This is creepy. I don't... I'm reading their lines. So I'm just like, ah. 
The screaming and the nonsense continues for the rest of the day, much to the upstairs' woman's dismay. But Louis is not anxious anymore. Uh, who cares if I'm a lame loser? You're still on about that? God, just eat your damn fish. I am eating it. Turns out I like fish, huh? Who would have thought? Oh yeah, okay, this, this time, um, I, I chose like, uh, the healthy option, you know? Instead of the buying the ice cream or whatever. So now, <laughs> I guess they're just eating fish. That's just their normal meal now. Fish and veggies, I guess. Uh, now I'm gonna be super healthy overnight because I ate fish. Nice. Add some broccoli sprouts and it will be immortal. I do like broccoli in the real life. I, I like fish and I like broccoli. You know, ironic, like these, like the original theory doesn't like either of them. I like them. I don't know about that, but I at least like to live to see the season finale of Captain Backstab Origins. So I don't know. Maybe you can fix some things up a bit. Sure. Sounds good. And then let's hit the gym too and get all beefed up. Maybe Vivi will give us a second glance. I don't need no Vivian. From now on, I'll only love myself. Oh, thank you. You know goddamn well I met me. And here I thought you hated me. You thought right. Well, I love you too. What? In theory, anyway. Like, I have to take care of you, therefore I care about you. I... what? No, wait, I guess hospitals take care of people without love. But I don't get paid to care about you, so it's different. What the hell are you on about? Now ah, listen, it's complicated. Ah, forget this. Forget this whole discussion. Rude. I'm sorting out my feelings here. Blow them out your ass. This is why no one likes you. <laughs> the theory is go to sleep. The next day, the Vivian is messing up her spells left and right. Uh, okay, this is the same actually. Hmm, interesting. So they had the same conversation there. Now what's happening? What's going on? Uh, okay, they're playing video games. All right, what do you want to play next? I'm sick of playing this dumb game, you suck at cheating. But other theory is deep in thought. Okay, this seems different. Me? Huh? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, well, if it's whatever, I'll go with... Hey, me, I have a question. Sure. You know, on the first day after you got split, uh, you kept suggesting something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Something? You know, something. Alright, so this is, um... I guess this is like, uh, this is still complicated because I've been like going, moving back and forth the entire time. Because I basically just chose the same options and everything, except the one time where we uh, were talking to Vivian and everything, yeah, the, the two threes. Instead of like staying, we go home instead and we have a little scene, you know, I guess, where they talk under a blanket or whatever. So maybe that might have changed some things. Because this scene seems different. Let's see. Oh, you mean the sex. Ah, yes. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm not worried. I'm just offer. I'm just wondering if that offer is still on the table, huh? I mean, you were joking then, right? Well, no, that was different. I mean, there was an opportunity to establish our relationship as such, but now it'll just be weird, <laughs> you know? It's just, yeah, it'll just be awkward now. Oh yeah, right. You think I'm ugly? Uh, yes, but that's not it. I knew it. I always thought I'm ugly too. I know, but listen. Back then, it was like, duh, it's masturbating, right? That's how it works, right? It still is, isn't it? Well, yes, but no, but... Oh, no, there's like an, this extra package, like, you know? I don't. Like, you're almost like someone else now, you know? So? You don't understand. Like, after we got split, I didn't think of you as anything. I thought you were just an extension of my hand or something. Something that got cut off like a lump of cancer, you know? Oh my god. Except this lump still moves around, has a warm, warm hole. I could fuck it before killing it, you know? That's that's a little psychopathic, anyway. Oh my fucking god. But now you're like a real person with feelings and stuff. Am I just a tumor to you? No, and that's the problem here. I can't believe my ears. Like, now I have to consider, do I want to have sex with someone like you? Holy fucking shit. I always knew you're awful, but this takes the cake. Hey, let's not pretend you're like you're not me. If you got the happy half, you have the same exact thoughts. I can't believe myself, I'm the worst. Haha. <laughs> Where are you going? I can't handle the stupid of this magnitude. No, 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 wait, I'm sorry. Don't be like that, me. Why are you so mad about this? Look, it's fine. I'll screw you if it keeps, from, <laughs> keeps you from slitting your wrists. Oh my god, no. <laughs> that, that makes it like, like pity sex. You don't get it at all. God, you're so stupid and horrible. 
I am, just like you. You're supposed to understand me. You're, you're me for Christ's sake. But I don't understand. You need to spell it out for me. We've become like two different entities, you know? It's kind of like... What's that called again? I, I, I already forgot. I remember there was a word for that. Um, I want to say... Diversion? No, that's not it. Divergence. Yes, divergence. That's the word. Anyway. I can't, okay? I don't, I don't understand either. Okay. I don't know. It's just lonely. I miss you, I think. Okay, but I'm right here, though. Yeah, you sure are. You're, you genius. Hey, screw you. You're the one having another goddamn meltdown. What am I supposed to do? I've tried everything. You're never happy. Oh shit, I'm happy right now. Oh Jesus, could've fooled me. I can be happy and sad and lonely and mad at the same time. <laughs> My emotions are complicated. If you say so. <sighs> well, how about this? Let's merge back. Huh? I mean, that's probably why you're lonely anyway. I wanted to merge back after you're a little less, um, well, less shit. It's probably fine now too. So how about it? Let's just be one person again, okay? Absolutely not. Huh? Look at me, I'm a bloody wreck. Who's gonna stick around if not you? I- you should- you should be my boyfriend, <laughs> that's weird. Of yourself. It's kinda like your twin, you know? It's basically, I mean, self says, but like, I don't know what the- the like, the deep, like, the specifics of that is, you know? How's that gonna work? But anyway. <laughs> Laughter. What's funny? Dating yourself. Oh my god. That's so pathetic. Uh, I can't breathe. Oh yeah? Well screw you, die. I'm out of here. Louis storms out of the house. Oh man. <laughs> uh, man, now what? He wants a romance, are you kidding me? I mean... This seems to le okay, this seems to have been leading to a different path. And there's only three endings. I already got two endings, so I mean, this is the only op option left. So I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna think about like self cess I guess. Ah, uh, uh, what the crap? What is wrong with him? Who wants to date themselves? I don't. Do I? I mean, obviously he does. So do I. But huh? Unfortunately, 3.exe has stopped responding. Oh no, my game crashed. No. Nothing more to see here. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. You have the me, that is. What kind of ass backwards log logic is that? I'm not a cancer. I'm a Scorpio. No, um... Welcome. Hello, I'm back and not cool at all. Yeah? Well, being cool isn't everything. Don't worry about it. Uh-huh. I mean, you look pretty upset over it. Oh, it's, not, it's not about that. I just got dumped. For being uncool. No. I don't get it. Honestly, the other me... Everything's all fine and dandy when he wants to screw. When I do, when I do, suddenly it's a crisis. <laughs> I really must insist on this great therapist. No, I just need to get out of the house. But I don't really have anywhere else to go, so hello. That better not be you asking you to stay the night. I, no, or I don't think so. Which one are you anyway? Huh? The one who can't use a phone? Hmm, I'd be hard pressed to call your clunky hunk of a junk a phone. All right, it's you. The sad one. Can't you tell just by looking? I don't know. Neither of you struck me as that happy. Uh, want some tea? Sure. Tea is had. It's really awkward. Thee so would certainly be having a panic attack if he was aware just how awkward this all is. But luckily, he's preoccupied with being, thinking about being rejected by himself. Now there's a loser if, if I ever saw one, says the narrator. So... You guys still working with Jerkface? I guess other me is. I was just thinking about what you told me the other week. That since you didn't write a contract, Jerkface keeps changing the terms. Yeah, why? I'm just saying there is no contract. Meaning you're obligated to do fuck all. Well, I mean, yeah, but Lua doesn't see it that way. What is he gonna do, sue you for not paying for his illegal magic? If anything, it looks like he cursed you, rather than you brought a spell from him. I don't know. What? Look, you spying this little... Uh, no, sorry. Disregard that. Okay. Theo will never ever disregard that. The word spineless is now forever ingrained in Theo's heart. 
moving on. Look, the other you is going to end up dead at this rate. It's not even a matter of if, but when, because that potion is years away from working. And while you might think it's easier to just let Louis do whatever, the other you might feel a little differently. So just relate to him what I said, okay? Yeah, okay. Thank you? You're welcome. Now, if only you take my advice this time. Is this like a territory thing? Is it a what now? Between you and Louis, since you're both running magic shops, are you just competing for customers or why the animosity? I'm sorry, how is that any of your business? Well, you're all up in my business too. I can sit back and let you guys get yourself killed too if you prefer. No, no, sorry. Besides, how can I not be all up in your business when you barge in here spouting all about it? Including your bizarre sex life or lack thereof. Alright, okay, you've made your point. Sorry, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it, I've heard worse. Want some more tea? Yes. While Thiwi is busy sipping tea and planning how to escape his past mistakes, other Thiwi is busy coming up with new mistakes. Okay, what the crap am I supposed to do now? Other than me doesn't want to merge back anymore. How did that happen? I thought that was the goal all along. I mean, I never told him that's the goal, but shouldn't he have known? Me, me and all? Do I want to merge back? Or maybe I should be asking... Or maybe I should be asking... Do I want to date myself? <laughs> I feel like that's probably like an anime. You know? Or, or like at least a movie of some sort. Already, you know? Dating yourself. It's probably already happened. It's probably some kind of like... Rom-com com... Like rom-com plot line like that. Anyway. Who needs to even think about something like that? Me. I need to think about that. Stop laughing, you jackass. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of awful, not someone I want to date. But it's not like anyone else is going to want to date me either. Plus, at least we agree on everything. No, wait, I don't think we agreed on anything, on anything though. What the hell? But I don't know. I think I'm kind of great, too. Or at least I would be, ruining anyone else's life. And we can play games together. I have the same kinks, I guess. <laughs> but I'm kind of not attractive at all. Yeah, I don't know. Looks fine. You know, I, I mean, I, 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 uh, you know, not to be rude, but like a, a diet full of just ice cream and like just junk food and like just being a general slob. Uh, Thuya, lo Thuya looks fine despite that, despite just being just not very healthy, it seems for the rest of his life, for the most of his life anyway. But it's not like I'm shallow or anything either, so... Okay, fine, I'm fucking shallow, but whatever. Other than me seems he's set up for me just fine. God damn, this isn't going anywhere. I don't know what I want at all. I need a sign. Yes, a sign that I interpret to be whatever my subconscious conjures up. Because heaven forbid I make my own decisions. No, I, I, that would mean I have agency over my own life. And that would mean I'm responsible for my own decisions. That means everything I do matters and I much prefer nihilism. That's all a sign it is. But where can I get a good sign? Well, there's a bus sign right here, see? Wee, bus sign. Louis' gaze lands at a bulk vending machine. You know the things, the little vending machines for gumballs, candy, and trinkets? Hmm. I don't know what those are, actually. I mean, I know what, uh, I mean, ga do you mean like a gachapon? You know, like a gacha machine, a gachapon machine? Which is what gacha games are based on, you know? Where, where you, like, put in, like, a coin, you, like, crank the thing, you know? You crank the dial, and a little thing comes out. In a capsule? Anyway. The bouncy ball one is almost empty for some reason, but the toy capsule one looks promising. Alright, this is it then. My future costs a couple quarters. So he puts a coin to slot along with his fate. And out comes... A ring! <laughs> yeah, well, it works out, I guess. Are you kidding me? Louis he tries to come up with several interpretations, but is unable to. The vending machine gods have spoken. Oh, yes. The gacha has spoken. You get an SSR... Five star uh, ring. Okay, fine, whatever. I always love myself anyway. Except all those times I, when I didn't. But no matter, clearly we're meant to be together. Probably as a whole person, but hey, I'll never be lonely again. The three returns home to find the other one waiting by the door. Oh crap, I didn't figure you'd be back so soon. <laughs> yeah, I should have taken the keys. See, this is what happens when you keep running away crying. Just open the goddamn door, and I wasn't even crying. Oh yeah, sure you weren't. Was it always this clean here? Oh yeah, I took the trash out. Speaking of which, I'll take you out too. Oh yeah, you wanna fight? Hmm? 
I'd consider our last with my win, so... Ah, oh, no. No, stupid. I met out on a date, for fuck's sake. Oh. Oh? I guess this is about as romantic as it gets around here, huh? Is this the rest of my life, then? <laughs> well, is it? I mean, I'm fine if it is, so is it? Is it? Oh, yes. Yeah, it is. All right, then. Our happy never after. Hehe. <laughs> So what happens now? Now I'm gonna talk about Vivian. Okay. <laughs> she told me that there's, since there's no written contract, Louis can't really demand we pay him anything. So you don't need to poison anymore. And frankly, you fucking idiot, why are you doing the first place? Hey, someone had to pay. Apparently not. Ah, uh, but Louis is kind of creepy. Who knows what I'll do if I just help tell him off. You got a point. How about... Do you think... <laughs> you go first. What if you just never show up? Yeah, it's not like he knows where we live. Yeah, like, let's just avoid the May shops until we can move away. Exactly. Screw the city anyway. It's not like I have a job or friends or anything here. That's right. You're here just because it's cheap. You can't find another cheap shit all the way away in. Let's elope. Or elope? I say how you pronounce that, actually. Elope? Let's elope. Haha. <laughs> let's start, start, let's start looking right now. The three ways open the laptop and browse for cheap apartments. But as it turns out, you don't just get a place simply because you need one. <laughs> Especially with a budget like Theories. Well. So roughly a week later, Theories are still actively looking. But someone was looking for them too. And this someone had more success in his search. Uh-oh. Open up. I know you in there. Open the door or huff and puff your house down. <laughs> I'll get it. Hi, Louie. Fancy seeing you here. In my house. Uninvited? Yeah, it's uncomfortable, isn't it? Remember that feeling next time you want to barge into my house? I didn't exactly plan on doing that anytime soon. Or like, ever? That's weird. I could have sworn we had agreed you'd come help me out with a little potion. Did you forget? Breaks my heart, my friend. <laughs> right. Mind if I ask? How did you find out where I live? I would not call myself a mage if I could have sensed the residue of my own magic. But the fact that this is your home was news to me. Although I kind of figured. It's cleaner than I thought in here. Thanks. Pleasantries aside, should we get to work? I went ahead and put a new batch and all without you. So all you have to do is come over and have a little sip. It won't take long. Oh crap. We're never getting rid of this jerk. Is there something I can say? Actually, about the deal we made, I uh... About that. I had something to say about that. Oh, hello, miserable one. I haven't seen you since you ran off without some as, as much as a goodbye. Right. Anyway, I wanted to say... I want to merge back? It's interesting you could choose to merge back. I mean, I don't think that's the correct option. I mean, I don't know if it changes anything. But I, I, I won't say our contract's invalid, really. It, our contract doesn't even exist. We, owe you, we don't owe you any favors or money or poison drinking or anything. Well, that's a bit rude. I gave you my time and effort, and you say I deserve no compensation at all. Well, I'm not saying that, but I don't think you deserve the poison together than me. My, who made you the divine judge of who deserves what? Maybe you should pull your head out of your ass. I- fuck you, man. <laughs> and you laugh? How dare you? Sorry, sorry. If that was all you had to say, mind pissing off? Us happy ones have business to attend to. But I- there's no contract. That's nice. Go tell someone who cares. In the meanwhile, Thuy here needs to help me with something. But don't you worry, hum, homebody, he won't be long. Don't worry me. I was a bit sick last time, but it was okay. I'll drink it one last time, we'll move out. <sighs> Thanks for staying up for us, though. You're so brave. <laughs> and now you're making fun of me. Jeez, I was not. I'll see you in a bit. See you. This seems like a bad idea. But as it just so happens, that batch of poison was quite bad. Lou had gone overconfident seeing how well Thuy survived the previous one. So this one was way too deadly. Thuy's life ended just like that. Yep, just like that. And what did the remaining Thuy think about that? Well, he wasn't very happy at all. His depression got the better of him. I don't even want to tell you this stuff. It all seems so melodramatic. But that's what happened. It's all very sad. Sad, sad. What did Louis think was going to happen when he made that statement about the contract? Do you expect Louis to go, Oh, gee, you're right. Sorry, man. I'll just go now. Well, since there are no more threes left to play, it's game over. Bad end. Okay, so there is the bad end. Okay, I thought it was going to be different, actually. But there is the bad end right there. Hmm, interesting. 
it seemed to be a different path though, you know? They seem to be getting along quite well, and then suddenly... I don't know, it's weird. Well, how about like, okay, so how about this? Let's go back. This time, let's say I want to merge back. Even though we don't want to merge back, but you know. I told you already, I want this spell undone. Huh? Oh, shut up. Like, this is somehow news to you? You're still on about that? What am I supposed to do? Undo the damn spell, that's what. Ah, uh, but here's the thing. Other oh, theory has already paid me and everything. No, he hasn't. You're clearly in the middle of it. And like it matters anyway. Still, a lot of you agree to this. Only half of you wants it reversed. No, I'm fine with it. I'd like to merge too. Really? Yeah, it's been pretty tiresome like this. You know, I warned you about tiresomeness. My other offer still stands, mind you. We can get over with right now. No, that's okay. I like to regain all my life force, so I'd rather merge. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate because I don't feel like undoing the spell. Huh? What do you take me for, a vending machine? Or better yet, what makes you think I can reverse it? Wait, what? You can't? I can, obviously, but I don't think I ever said I can. Here you are assuming. Like it costs you anything anyway. Don't be so difficult. I just don't feel like helping when I'm being asked this way. Fine. We don't need your help anyway. But don't expect other me to help you either until you merge us back. That's right. I won't test any poison until I'm a whole again. That's cute. You think you're so irreplaceable, do you? I'll suck another moron to testing my potion. Meanwhile, you're stuck like that until the day you die. Which, by the way, should be around your 40s. So I wonder which one of us can afford to throw their weight around. Kinda seems like... Mm, kinda seems like that would be me. Well, I hate to disappoint you, but it looks like you're going to remain split. But why? Because I say so. Goodbye, my friends. <laughs> Lou at last all the way back home. Haha, you fool! This is what I wanted, actually, you know? We tricked them. We tricked the person that's basically Gilgamesh, by the way. You know, he has that Gilgamesh vibes. He's just, like, incredibly arrogant about everything, and, like, he is super powerful, but still an asshole. So, like, the only way to trick him is to appeal to his, you know, his ego, and therefore make it seem like he gets his way, I guess. <laughs> what a moron! Ha! <laughs> oh man, can't believe it was that easy. Although he's right about us dying early. Eh, that's okay. Not really though. Whatever, we could choke us some spit tonight while we brush our teeth. But that might happen even if we mer if we did merge. So what? Alright, I guess it's like that. Now let's just be happy Lewis off our backs. <laughs> that's right. Now we can play video games and watch movies and hang out. And eat fish and go for walks and learn to cook. And screw, finally! And that too, okay. Good. Fucking, <laughs> fucking loser marries himself, lol. Common decency, also destroyed, and also in his 40s, he dies. And that's how the three spend their days, friendless and without any goals in life. Who oh, needs friends where you can laugh at your own jokes? As for goals, well, maybe someone better can reach some because he is only reaching for the potato chips. Ultimately, three's life is an utter waste. Well, he sure is happy to waste with himself by his side. Couple and all right, so that's okay. The third, okay. Well, I was thinking like I thought the third the, I thought, in this game, I thought three endings meant included the the bad end, but actually, yeah, there's actually a bad end in addition to three endings. So this is the couple end. It's a little harder to achieve actually because you have to pick specific options. But there you go. They they <laughs> smooshed themselves. All right, good. I don't know how I feel about this, but I guess it works out. I guess they're happy. Sure, why not? I don't know. Anyway, I guess that's it. I, I think I got all the endings. So there you go. Um, I guess I'm good with this game. And I don't know. How do I feel about this? I feel like, generally speaking, this is like good. You know, this is like good visual novel, I feel like, you know. Um, just like the, the like, like just like the last one. No, no, the sense of humor actually just really appeals to me for some reason. I actually find it pretty funny at times. And I like the dialogue and everything. I did see like a few typos, but you know, I still enjoy the the the, the spirit of the uh, the character interactions and everything. Yeah, and that was nice. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like it. I don't know. It's like I think um I think some people might not like the dark humor. I guess whenever I see dark humor, actually described for like a story or like a game, whatever. So I think like it's too edgy. You know, and maybe some people might think that way for this game. I'm not entirely sure, but you, you know, it's it's like the right amount, actually. You know, it's not too edgy, actually, for me anyway. I think it's like 
it's just right you know it hits that 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 point where it's like just right you know it's like i i think it's actually pretty funny no i it just appeals to my sense of humor i guess i don't know what it is but i like it uh, i like the art uh the music is fine too i don't know if the music is like uh custom or anything i never know with all these like visual novels on itch.io you know a lot of them are indie visual novels sometimes they use a lot of like uh op public domain music but apparently it says your background music is Feslin Studio, so whoever that is, I guess it belongs to that. Mm. And the, the, the background music's fine. I, I just remember the one time when there was like Mario, you know, sound effects for some reason. It was, it was weird. Anyway, um, and yeah, I don't know. I mean, you also say, I mean, I just really like this actually. You know, I I, I like the 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 paths you can go down. You know, it's, it was a little complicated like, to figure out exactly what you need to do to get the the couple ending i guess but it was interesting to see all different options i might on youtube anyway i might not show everything but there is like a some slight differences in the dialogue depending on your previous choices actually you know it doesn't matter too much but you know yeah it's like it's, it's interesting to see the differences in the script because of your choices um anything else i don't know i, I mean i said it before already but i like the art i don't know i don't know what it is about the art it's not like it's not specifically anime but it's similar i guess and similar enough that i don't know sometimes when people try to like i don't know westernize you know anime an anime art style it doesn't look good to be honest but i, I like this art style actually you know it's like it's unique enough that isn't just a carbon copy of like an anime style but it still works you know i don't know i think it's like very cute actually i like i like the art anyway um anything else i don't know i'm trying to think if there's anything else i want to say about this game i mean basically yeah i mean i mean i just like the, the whole concept you know it's an interesting little story you know it's it's mostly ironically i feel like a little bit lighthearted actually you see this theory, like holding a knife and everything i mean there's at one point they try to kill each other i guess but other than that it didn't really get all that dramatic really you know it, it, just, it just really is just just hang out with your other self or whatever again there's probably like a movie about that or something i'm not entirely sure probably um but uh but you know it's basically like a metaphor right it's just, it's just a metaphor for how like you know the way the main character trying to deal with his own emotions or whatever his negative feelings and like with like a bit of like a twist you know magic twist where they literally like physically split and everything right so instead of like um i mean you know instead of like literally just monologuing yourself the entire time you're literally talking to yourself but like you know like literally as a physical entity i don't know i just like the idea i mean it really is like the i mean it's basically like a slice of life kind of story right where if i mean there is magic and everything but definitely the focus is not on like this overarching anything like big save the world or whatever kind of thing but rather uh kind of like the drama between um himself you know literally but like you know as two people you know that's supposed to be interesting and then the, you know the decision at the end is whether or not you want to merge back i guess to like become whole again or do you just i mean it's kind of like it's kind of weird but like at the, at the end you can also choose to not do that i guess but i feel like the moral of the story really i, I imagine anyway is to accept yourself right no matter whether you're like happy or sad you know you can't simply just there's no like quick fix to it i guess you know you can't just like cut that part out of yourself and pretend that's not you it's still you right and you need yourself to you know live your life i guess or whatever or something like that maybe i don't know maybe that's some more that's what i got from this game you know like because you've noticed that both of these characters one was happy one was sad but eventually you know either because they start to like each other or just in general they just diverge or whatever the the sad one starts to get happy and the happy one starts to get sad you know so really it's just a short-term solution to literally split yourself you know it might be like a metaphor for like kind of you know trying to like have some like quick fix to your uh to your situation or whatever or something like that i don't know i'm just speaking i'm just talking out of my ass anyway i i, I, I like the moral though you know i mean again it's like super cheesy but like just accept for yourself for who you are or whatever you know is the idea i think maybe not literally though not like so literally that you marry yourself but anyway <laughs> but but yeah um but I, I, I actually i don't know i like it i, I like um the um, i have a lot to say but like I, I like the momentum of the story as well you know i like the pacing that's what i don't say for a lot of you know a lot of visual novels 
has so much narration, have so much monologuing, paragraphs upon paragraphs upon paragraphs of just describing the setting, you know, or like describing what a person feels like or whatever. This game has good pacing to it, you know? This is one of the rare visual novels I really like because the pacing is actually good. It just, it's strange, right? Because I, I go through a lot of visual novels in Ichio. The main problem I have, and this might be just a me thing, I don't know, but like, I, because I play so much visual novels, I've noticed like there's just too much focus on just describing the environment or like a character just monologuing to themselves for like 10 hours, right? This game, there is a bit of monologuing, there's some like thought processes, I guess, but for the most part, focuses on the dialogue and has good momentum. You know, a lot of the characters have something to do, they have a goal in their in their heads. Even the side characters are interesting, you know, like Vivian, Tala, and like um Jerkface, you know. They have like their own little story that's going on. But like it's a side thing, right? It's not the main focus, but it's interesting to think about it in the background. I mean they haven't really explained it, you know, the whole thing about Vivian and Lua. You can guess, you know, what happened. But not the details, which is interesting. You know, I, li I like that actually. I like there's more characters that are actually important to the plot. You know, I've noticed actually the, the previous game that Nemle made, uh, Devaltheon, I didn't really have that. You know, they have like side characters and everything, but really the main focus was the main characters, and that's all, all you really knew. So it's interesting that we did like see uh, the story from different perspectives as well. That was interesting too, just especially from Vivian and all that, right? Anyway. But yeah, I mean. I mean, I have nothing but praise for this game. I'm, I'm trying to think. I mean, the only, again, the only criticisms I have would be definitely a few typos here. I've noticed it, just a few typos here and there, but it's not too bad. Obviously, fixing it would be great. I mean, objectively speaking, having no typos in your script would be ideal, I guess. But, you know, but I like it. I, I think I, I really feel like Namla is actually one of my favorite developers now, you know, on Ichio, actually, um, because they just have good storytelling skills, you know, and also just good art. So like, I don't know, this is like one of the best games of issue, I feel like, you know, it's actually incredibly underrated, is all, is all I'm saying. Compared to a lot of the other visual novels I played before, even like the really popular ones that are just not indie at all, like, you know, just like the main ones. That are sold for like full price and everything. This one's free, or at least, well, you can pay what you want, anyway, but you know. Um, but... At least, or rather, not, how, how, what's the word? I mean, you, you can get this game for free, rather, you know? And for the cost, you know, it's, in, it's it's great value. But anyway, but there you go. I must say, I must say Nemle is, yeah, I think um, really is one of my favorite developers. It's convinced me actually with this game. So there you go. I don't know what that means in general, because it's just, it's just my opinion. It doesn't matter. I'm just a, a nobody on the internet. It doesn't mean anything, but you know, I like, I like this developer anyway. But there you go, I guess that's it. So I, I think I did everything. I don't know if I'm missing anything. I think I got everything. I got all the endings. There's probably some extra scenes that uh, if you play this game on your own, you might be able to find if uh, you're so inclined. But otherwise, I think I already got all of the main endings. So I guess that'll be it for Better Half. It was it was good. I, I give it 9 out of 10. Because <laughs> I actually, I, I don't know. This is It's a good rating. It's a good vision novel. Um... Uh, let me just say, if you're on YouTube, uh, if you didn't know, I stream these games live on Twitch, so check me out over there if you're interested. And um, there's also other videos on the channel if you want to look for those. I, I mentioned before, I also did a playthrough of Vileveon from the same developer, so you can check that out as well if you want. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then.